Mm-hmm. He only went to Miami, low key that 2013 run. This this is the perfect definition of like winning bias. If they lost 2013, that was another bad finals. It was. Like that was a terrible finals for him because he couldn't make a shot. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anything outside. Yeah, he couldn't, but you mm-hmm. think you game remember se- otherwise. Game seven, he could make game it. Game seven saves happened. everything. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Up until game seven, he's shooting like 42% from the field, yep. like 31% from um, mm-hmm. from the, um, behind the arc. Yep. He's not making any free throws. Yep. Mm-hmm. He is genuinely struggling yep. to be productive in that series. That's bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. You're going to learn today. Peace and blessings. Welcome to Goat James Kingdom. I can't believe both of those guys have the nerve to say that. But this is why Goat James Kingdom exists. So let's go ahead and break down what they were discussing. Now, what Lowe mentioned was how LeBron was inefficient and couldn't get his shot throughout the playoffs and in the finals in particular. But if we look at LeBron James' numbers, Lowe was off on his field goal percentage and his three-point percentage. But he was only off by a percentage or two when he's talking about his efficiency. But for him and Mars to say that this was actually a terrible series is what we're going to discuss. To think that LeBron James averaging a double-double while leading his team in points, rebounds, assists, and steals is playing bad and not being productive for his team is completely ridiculous and false in so many ways. But let's break down the series a little bit further and let's see if Mars and Lowe's actually have a stance with what they were stating. If we look on the left hand side, we will see LeBron James game by game stats. But if we look at what he did between games one and three, LeBron James was averaging about 17 points per game, 12 rebounds, seven assists, almost two steals and a block per game. Now, this is where Lowe was talking about his efficiency was down at the early part of the series, which is what Lowe and Mars are discussing when they're saying LeBron is playing terrible. They're looking at his efficiency. But if you look at game one, LeBron James had an 18, 18, 10 triple double, which they lost. But the Heat come back and win game two with LeBron. James having a similar game, in fact, an actually lesser game than game one, and then they lose game three, which was only one of the two games during that series LeBron James had a lower efficiency than 40%. So looking at these numbers, we would say, oh, LeBron's not playing good to start off the series, but again, it is a seven-game series, not a three-game series. But LeBron comes back in game four and has a 33-11 game while shooting efficiently from the field, tying the series. Now the Heat will lose game five with LeBron James shooting under 40% for the second time for the series. And here is where Lowe and Mars are trying to discuss LeBron James having a bad series. Because if we look at his average between the first five games, here is what LeBron James was averaging. And here is why we do not trust these guys' eye tests or when they discuss stats in basketball. Because if we look at these stats here between games one through five, because of LeBron James' efficiency, Lowe and Mars would say LeBron James was playing better than if we add game six. And when you add game six, which will be our stronghold in our stance in this discussion, LeBron James stepped up tremendously like he normally does in elimination games. He came up with a triple double game. And because he shot a little bit less from the three point line, his efficiency was a little bit less. So even if we go to just the first six games, LeBron James was actually playing good and actually leading the Miami Heat in every category but blocks. And if we add the final game, which is what they wanted to avoid by saying, well, if we just take away game seven, which is funny to us because they want to remove LeBron James's greatest moments. Game sevens and elimination games, LeBron James steps up unlike Michael Jordan. And in a game seven of an NBA finals, LeBron James put up 37 points, 12 rebounds while shooting over 50% from the field. Ending the series averaging 25 points per game, 11 rebounds, seven assists, two and a half steals, a block, shooting 45% from the field, 35 from three-point land and about 80% from the free throw line. And then they had the nerve to say that this was playing terrible and not getting their shot when this was Kobe Bryant's career scoring average and shooting efficiency average. With a game score of 22 and a half, which means LeBron James actually had a great series for the 2013 finals. But this doesn't surprise us here at Goat James Kingdom as Michael Jordan fans do not know how to talk stats. They do not know how to talk basketball. For them to think and say that LeBron James shooting 44% from the field means he doesn't have a bag and he cannot shoot is completely preposterous. And all of this is because they do not know what they're looking at when they're looking at stats, let alone looking at the game. Are we going to say Stephon Curry cannot shoot the ball from the perimeter because he shot 40% versus the Spurs that same playoffs? Or Mike Connolly can't shoot from the perimeter because he shot 38% in the same playoffs versus the Spurs? And this is why we do not trust you guys' eye tests because you guys do not know what you're seeing. And this is why you guys don't want to discuss stats with us because stats won't make Michael Jordan the GOAT. Why are you running? Why are you running? 
I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping.